Once upon a time, in a small village nestled deep in the mountains, there lived a young man named Hiro. Hiro had always been an avid learner, but he felt that something was missing in his life. Restless and seeking answers, he decided to embark on a journey to find the true meaning of peace and fulfillment. Hiro had heard of a wise Zen master who resided atop a distant peak. Legend had it that the master possessed profound knowledge and enlightenment. Determined to meet him, Hiro began his arduous ascent up the treacherous mountain trails. After days of strenuous hiking, Hiro finally reached the summit. There, under the shade of a majestic old tree, he found the Zen master seated, serene and focused. Hiro approached him with reverence, and after bowing deeply, he asked, Master, I seek wisdom and peace. Can you guide me? The master smiled gently and motioned for Hiro to sit beside him. Young man, I can indeed guide you, he replied. But first I will tell you a story. Hiro listened attentively as the master began his tale. In a small village similar to ours, there once lived a renowned samurai warrior. His name was Kenshin, and he was known for his unrivaled skill with the sword. Kenshin had vanquished countless foes and had become a legend in the land. However, despite his prowess, Kenshin was burdened by a troubled mind. He constantly worried about the future and clung to the memories of past battles. His mind was cluttered with thoughts of success, failure, and the desire for even greater power. One day, Kenshin heard of a Zen master who was said to possess the secret to true peace. Eager to find answers, Kenshin traveled far and wide until he reached the Zen master's humble abode. Upon meeting the master, Kenshin expressed his desire for tranquility. The Zen master, recognizing Kenshin's troubled mind, offered him a simple challenge. He said, Kenshin, before I can teach you the path to peace, you must learn to empty your mind. Perplexed, Kenshin inquired, Empty my mind? But how can I fight my battles and protect the people without thinking? The Zen master smiled knowingly. Kenshin, emptying your mind does not mean abandoning your responsibilities or neglecting your duties. It means letting go of unnecessary thoughts and focusing on the present moment. Kenshin was skeptical but willing to learn. The master handed him a porcelain teacup and asked him to pour tea into it. As Kenshin poured, the cup quickly overflowed, spilling onto the table. Frustrated, Kenshin exclaimed, Master, the cup is too small. It cannot hold all the tea. The Zen master nodded. Indeed, Kenshin. Just as the cup cannot contain more than its capacity, your mind cannot find peace if it is cluttered with unnecessary thoughts. Hiro was captivated by the tale and its underlying message. He contemplated the story and its implications for his own journey. The Zen master observed Hiro's contemplative expression and said, Young Hiro, the twist in this story lies in the fact that Kenshin, the renowned samurai, did not initially grasp the true meaning of emptying his mind. He equated it with emptiness and incapacity. Hiro furrowed his brow, seeking clarification. The master continued, What Kenshin failed to realize was that emptying the mind is not about denying or suppressing thoughts. Rather, it is about being fully present in each moment, free from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future. Hiro nodded, absorbing the master's words. He understood that true peace could only be found by releasing attachment to the past and worries about the future. The present moment held the key to inner harmony. Inspired by the Zen master's wisdom, Hiro devoted himself to practicing mindfulness and meditation. With each passing day, he emptied his mind of unnecessary thoughts, allowing himself to fully immerse in the beauty of the present. As Hiro continued his journey, he encountered various challenges and obstacles. But instead of becoming overwhelmed, he embraced them with a calm and focused mind. By emptying his mind, he gained clarity enabling him to make wiser decisions and navigate through difficult situations with grace. During his travels, Hiro met people from different walks of life, farmers, merchants, and artisans, who shared their stories and wisdom with him. He realized that emptying the mind was a universal concept that transcended professions and backgrounds. 
It was a powerful tool that could bring peace and fulfillment to anyone who practiced it. One day, as Hiro reached the end of his journey, he returned to the village where he had started. The villagers noticed a remarkable change in him. His face radiated tranquility, and his presence exuded a sense of deep serenity. Word of Hiro's transformation quickly spread throughout the village, and the people flocked to him, eager to learn the secret to his newfound peace. Hiro, humbled by their admiration, shared the story of Kenshin and the Zen master, emphasizing the importance of emptying the mind to find true contentment. The villagers, inspired by Hiro's words, began their own journeys of self-discovery. They recognized that the key to lasting happiness lay not in acquiring material possessions or chasing external achievements, but in emptying their minds and embracing the present moment. In time, the village became a haven of mindfulness and serenity. The people discovered that by emptying their minds, they cultivated compassion, improved relationships, and found fulfillment in the simplest of tasks. As Hiro watched the village flourish, he realized that the twist in the story he had heard from the Zen master was not just a plot device. It was a reminder that true wisdom often lies in questioning our assumptions and preconceived notions. Kenshin, the renowned samurai, had learned that emptying the mind was not about weakness but about finding strength and clarity. And so, the story of Hiro and the Whispering Lotus became a timeless parable, teaching generations the power of emptying the mind. It reminded them to release the burdens of the past, let go of worries about the future, and savor the beauty of the present. From the story of Hiro and the Whispering Lotus, we learn a profound lesson about the power of emptying the mind. Through the character of Kenshin, the renowned samurai, we discover that true peace and fulfillment cannot be achieved if our minds are cluttered with unnecessary thoughts. Kenshin initially misunderstood the concept of emptying the mind, equating it with emptiness and incapacity. However, with the guidance of the wise Zen master, he came to understand that emptying the mind is not about denying or suppressing thoughts, but about being fully present in each moment, free from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future. This revelation resonates with Hiro, the young seeker on his own journey to find wisdom and peace. Inspired by the Zen master's teachings, Hiro embraces the practice of mindfulness and meditation, dedicating himself to emptying his mind of unnecessary thoughts. Through his experiences, Hiro learns that emptying the mind brings clarity, enabling him to navigate challenges with grace and make wiser decisions. Along his journey, Hero encounters people from various backgrounds, reinforcing the universal nature of emptying the mind as a powerful tool for peace and fulfillment. As Hero returns to his village, transformed by his newfound tranquility, he shares the story of Kenshin and the Zen master with his fellow villagers. They, too, embark on their own journeys of self-discovery, recognizing the importance of emptying their minds to find lasting happiness. The village becomes a haven of mindfulness and serenity, where the people learn to cultivate compassion, improve relationships, and find fulfillment in the simplest of tasks. Through this tale, we understand that emptying the mind is not a sign of weakness, but a source of strength and clarity. It teaches us to question our assumptions and preconceived notions, allowing us to discover true wisdom. The story emphasizes that by emptying our minds, we create space for inner peace to flourish and for our lives to be enriched by the beauty that surrounds us. Ultimately, we learn that emptying the mind is a skill that can be developed through mindfulness and meditation. It grants us the ability to embrace the present moment fully, release the burdens of the past, and let go of worries about the future. By doing so, we open ourselves up to a life of greater clarity, purpose, and joy. The story of Hero and the Whispering Lotus serves as a timeless reminder to empty our minds, cultivate mindfulness, and find true peace within ourselves. This is Keepers of Inspiration. Inspiring you, one story at a time.